I feel like this needs to go here somewhere real quick. Thank you for the heart me. Something has to go here, right? That does not fit. I have to put that on top there. Because that does go there. Ah, oh, jeez. Hey guys. Yeah, I'm wearing um a yellow shirt. And the Aristocats the Aristocats are on. But yeah. Go to sleep? No, I'm not going to sleep. Why would I go to sleep? No, <laughs> I went live. My nose is like there. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. I think this might go down here. I thought I'd pick this one up. No, because I can't. This is something that I really, really... Anyways, I don't think that goes there. Can't yeah, move this because. can't move this up as a whole.
but I can still move this, right? Yeah, but then I need to move that, and I can't move it. Dude, there's someone behind me, yeah. You know who's behind me? Do you want to know who's behind me? I know who's behind me. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you want to? Yeah. Scary movie. I'm just kidding. It's not gonna work, guys. Okay. I've seen a lot worse. Maybe this one goes there? Or no. No. your mom she's behind me <laughs> oh someone's gonna be mad because I said that then we need like the yellow one. Oh, it's right there. I know they're already sending someone. Let them send somebody. Seriously, like, I, I, I frankly don't give a fuck. Let them send whoever the fuck they want. Like, the police are literally, like, patrolling. So do I literally care? The police are literally gonna watch someone show up to my door. Like, these people do it because they're literally thinking that they're gonna antagonize me to get off, off my life, and it's not gonna happen. That's why I had police patrol all week. Like, if that person is gonna end up getting in trouble by the police by showing up to the door and get arrested, let them. They're literally going to cause an innocent door dasher to get arrested for no reason. That's the legit why I have police all week. Like, hello? That's why I had them come. Because I knew for this specific reason. Like, I'm not even gonna argue. Like, there's nothing I could do about it. Like, the only thing I could do is have pol police just, like, witness with Just... I can't do anything much about it. And, you know, that's that. Okay.
but except I think these are in the wrong spaces. I really do. So if we're being totally honest, this is like the start. I think. That star is the finish, so. I should go last. Thank you for the engagement, guys. It really helps because it helps people get on the live. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just find it so funny. People don't believe me. good I um well I tracked my packages and some of them one of them's in Canada so it should be coming soon from uh Tamu or Timu so yeah I'm really really so yeah I have a bunch of stuff coming from Timu. I have this like, well, for when I do get a wig, which won't probably be for a while, but it's still late. The bands, you know, that um, melted, uh, that I have um, sunglasses coming. I guess I got them for free. They were like free, the, the bands and the glasses were free because I was like, when did I order glasses? I don't ever remember ordering sunglasses but I got different colors white brown or it's like a beige brown I think in black and then I have my other stuff coming and then I have a, another box that's coming Monday hopefully uh, the girl put a bunch of like makeup that is unopened that she used to be she was like into makeup but she gave me some stuff skincare So anyways, um, skincare, I got a bunch of like skincare, I got a bunch of, um, what else did I get? Oh, someone's sending me some shoes, so I have like three pairs of shoes coming, the two from Wish, and I don't know how many pairs of shoes this person is sending me, but they're sending me bands, hopefully they fit, because... They said eight, so I hope a eight fits. Um, then somebody else is gonna send the box, but uh, that's taking time, you know, because people are busy. But this person that's sending me a box bought nails for my wish list, but it wasn't sending, so they're gonna send it with, they're gonna send the box of stuff with it. So, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm getting a bunch of stuff. No, for my wish list. Because on Amazon, I had nails on my wish list. And they didn't send it. They didn't send... Um, they didn't send it twice. And they said the second time that they ordered, they ended up receiving a refund back. And they didn't understand why they got a refund. But they got a refund. 
And so then they just decided to order it to their how to their house and then have it sent to me. So yeah. Wish list, not wish. Although there's nothing wrong with shopping on wish. I would I would shop on wish. You look wonderful tonight. This is very difficult. Because that, that doesn't work. Wish is not a bad place to shop. I've only shopped there once. I got some shoes from Wish. No, actually, I got a phone from Wish. Actually... That phone was a really nice phone until it was stolen. There was nothing wrong with that phone. Um, it was a gold phone. It was like Android, but let me tell you something. The phones from Wish were pretty good. Well, I, I, I technically I didn't, I didn't have to get a phone from Wish. I could have got a, a nicer phone, but well, not a nicer phone. That phone was nice. I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Ugh. No, I didn't throw up. Anyways. Sorry. Ooh. I just got overcame with something. Anyways. So, the... The stuff from Wish, you know? I got a phone and a, um... And some shoes. They were light-up shoes. That when you... Plug them in and charge them... They charge with a USB. And you just click the button on, the, on your shoe thing... And it changes the color so you could have any color or you could have it like flash rainbow colors. And it was really cool. Because like, I don't know if you've seen this wrestler a while, oh, like years back, they wore those types of shoes. And um, so years back, this this wrestler, I forgot who, who it was, she wore these light up shoes. No, they weren't twinkle toes. They they are really expensive shoes because the ones that are expensive ones are like six hundred dollars. These ones were like from Wish, so I was like on a budget. They were literally um, they're literally LED shoes, kind of like, and you just like plug it in with the charger. You charge them. And then they have charged for like at night. So I charged my shoes all, all the time and I would wear them. They were like high tops, but you could change the color of your shoes depending on what you were wearing. They were white, but then you could change the color. I'm 30 though. I'm not 30 yet. And that was like how many years ago? That was when my friend was alive. So <laughs> that was a long time. That was probably in like 2019 or something like that <laughs> no wait yeah like 2019 2020 something like that 2018 2019 that was a long time ago i've ever been 29 forever i just t turned <laughs> i'm legit gonna be 30 this year hello you, you do your math. I was born June 6, 1994. Do the math. I like, hello.
That's on Jimmy Fox. Why do I order kid stuff? That's not kid stuff. I saw a wrestler wearing those shoes. And they were literally going viral. But the ones that people was getting was like $600. And I was not going to pay $600 for shoes. So I got them from Wish. And everyone liked them. People, people would compliment me on the shoes. All the time. They would be like, like, those are really cool shoes because they were really bright. And they were not like, let me tell you something. Twinkle Toes, the kids that had Twinkle Toes, this, like, you would have loved these shoes. They're elevated, okay? You just charge them with a with an Android charger. And then you change the color as permitted. I mean, whatever, whatever color you're wearing. And it's legit, like... Yeah, th these were cool. <laughs> this this is funny. You done with the puzzle? No. I don't know. I'm gonna have to use a hint, guys, to be honest with you. I'm gonna have to use a hint. So it is correct. No, I didn't quit. I just needed to better understand it. Now I know I'm correct. I had it the correct way. Okay, so. This goes here, right? Oh, we're going to have to move this. Okay, right? This is how it's supposed to go. Almost click let it be. This is so difficult to even remember. Okay, let's resume. It needs like that box that goes up, but then where's the red part of that? Oh, I see. There we go. Okay. But then how does that work? Because that's supposed to go here. You know where the arrow is, but that does that just makes no sense. But then how does unless there's another one that goes that way? Jesus. Because it goes that way, but then there's that arrow that's supposed to go up. 
Yeah, and then this, oh, this is wrong then. That doesn't go there, it's the green one that does. Can you go down there please, thank you. Okay. And then, where am I going to put this over here? Put that up there. No, you go right there. Okay. This goes here. And then this goes here. Hold on, let me move this over. Okay. That is wild. Oh, let's just continue, shall we? Because that's the thing. Like, making jokes is very dumb. You know, this is like a situation where it's not like, ha, ha, ha. I don't know why people think making jokes is fun. I mean, you continue... You can continue in the comment section, but you'll have to end up paying for a subscription. So I would suggest that you don't make jokes or it goes in sub only because I control my life. Not anybody else. There's that. Okay. Okay, we need the... Hmm. That's not correct. Because... Hold on, let me fix this. No, but that's how it goes. And then that's not in the right space. Let's get it to 100K. Go. <laughs> Sorry. You better get it to 100K. Because I ain't playing. with someone screaming outside what the hell <laughs> hey that does not go there then what goes there that's crazy
because the way that we're following it, that goes there, but then it has an arrow going down. And literally, that red one doesn't go there, which means that doesn't go there. Oh, you gotta be... Let me arrange all of this, then. So this is gonna have to go there. This goes here. Meaning that this goes here, I think. the white one to go there. There we go. Except we gotta move this over. No, go down. Like, Jesus Christ. That doesn't go there. This probably goes there. No, it doesn't. This goes there. Oh, I don't know. Because then that doesn't go there. Okay, hold on. We need to remove this. No, I can't move anything. Let me move this over real quick. Ah, uh, do I have to put it down there? Because then I have... Hold on. I hate this because then there's no way to move that. Oh, Lord. We need to get that up there. We need to put that up here. Do we need to put that down here? Put that down here, put that here. Okay, there. Okay, and then this goes here, and then this goes here. This does not go here. Well, now it looks like it does, and that does not go there. My you, you need to move. That goes here. There we go. Okay, we got some wires. Where's the like green? I 
it's the green apparel. Oh, we did it. Okay. <gasps> it's a kitty. Aw, there's another way to solve it. How? Is it red arrow with red arrow? Thank you for the gift points. Mm -mm. I hate this stupid like people you're getting blocked like seriously cause see look if I do the hint it's not gonna give me I've already solved it. But it's okay. Because how is there another... How is there another way to solve it? That makes no sense. <gasps> oh, maybe there is. I think I know what I can do. Watch. Okay, maybe... No, we can't do it that way. I was going to say, what if we solve it backwards? Happy birthday, Aaliyah. Sorry. Miracle spring water. That that stuff is a crock of baloney. That guy is stupid. I'm sorry. Is that evangelist guy? The one that, that has that miracle spring water that's like, he has some lady on there like, oh my god, I got my miracle spring water and I miraculously came into some money. Like, because of the miracle spring water, like, I was blessed with money to pay my bills. Like, it, it works, guys. Like, I got money. I was like, that's a BS. There is no way something called Miracle Spring Water literally made you lucky enough to get money to pay your bills randomly. Like, if that's what you believe, <laughs> you ain't never going to get anywhere in life. God just doesn't make money fall into your lap. This is crazy. I don't know how to solve this the other way. Unless you win the lottery. Yep, that's true.
<laughs> oh no, it's Tiny Lester. <laughs> oh, it, it, there's an episode that's on. Um, there's an episode of Jamie Foxx that's on. And the groom is literally Tiny Lester, the guy from, um, uh, what do you call it? Friday. That's the guy from Friday that played Debo. Uh oh. Um, Fancy caught him with the with the girl because she thought they slept together and they didn't. He was in the wrong room. It was like it said 306, but it was supposed to be 309. And they got caught together and she she thought they they did something and they didn't. They tried to explain to her, but she wouldn't listen and she she wouldn't listen and she left and now he's afraid he's gonna find out. Okay, there has to be another way. I think if I follow, like, how it goes, that might work. Just like, you see that? But it's not high enough. Mm. Yeah, they... <laughs> Guys, spam the likes, let's get to 100k, or the chat's not opening up. Like, come on. Tap, tap, tap. Let's go. You see, I have to have it like that in the air, but that doesn't work because it doesn't match up. Unless we put this first. anyone know how to solve it they probably this time I said I'm gonna open up the chat last time 
I said get to 100k and I turned the comments off, but that didn't mean I was going to open up the chat, but just going to end the live when they get... No? It's 12. I don't get off till 2. And plus, besides, yeah, I'm not going to... Uh, tomorrow I have to work on a t-shirt design. But anyways, yeah, there's plenty of time. It's barely 12.29. It's just good business to do so. Wait, what? You gotta make your, so you're clear and keep your word. Yes. Spam the lights to 100 per. I don't even know about this, you guys. Should we go to the next level? Cause I think we completed it, sort of. I don't even know. She's right. Hold on, let me try something. Because I think if we do it the way that I think of doing it, I think that's how it's solved. Then again, I don't know. There has to be another one that goes up. <sighs> I think it's down there. Okay, see, like this. But see, it doesn't match up entirely. That matches up, but then the other one doesn't match up entirely. Unless... You put that here. I don't know, why does it have two ways of solving it? that up here.
No, I forgot why I even moved it. Oh, I know why. I'm trying to put that right there. It won't go there because... Okay, let me do this. Oh, we need a box there. Good night. Uh-oh, <laughs> that is not good. Thank you for the gift points. Like, why? Why can't we just, like... trying to put that there okay here this goes here <coughs> did we do it finally Jeez. 
Jeez. Okay. I don't think that's how it works. Oh my god. So I have a, um, I had a talk with someone, right? And here's the thing that I had a talk with them about, and I literally just decided upon it. Well, not to do it, but against it because I had told this person that I was talking about them about the discord and I had literally said how because they were like well why don't you take a break why don't you this they were they were offering suggestions and I literally told them that these people would not stop like they want me off social media that's what they want and it's not gonna happen so, um, I said I was off for a whole month, almost a whole month. They still continued. They did this, they did that, whatever. I gave them a list of things that the Discord did. They were like, oh, uh, then I said the only way they will stop. And this was something I told them. The only way they will stop is if I was to pay someone to go to their door. If literally I started doing what they did to me. And start having people paying people to follow them around, paying people to to stalk them, paying people to scare the living ever daylights out of them. Like, you know, like they do me when they send people to my door, banging on my door. If I literally sent people to do the same thing to them, I said, that's the only way they will stop. Because at that point, they would realize just how bad it is. If someone, if someone was to put them in danger how they did me, they would literally be like, no, I don't want any of this, right? And I've seen it with a lot of people that have said something, involved themselves in me, and literally, and literally, um, and literally, you know, that, like I said, that's why a lot of people have left social media. I told them if that's what I did to them, that's, that's what would make them stop. But I said, I'm not going to do that to them because I don't do that. The person suggested that I should because they're like, you should do that. And I said, no, I shouldn't do that. Let me tell you something though, the Discord is dumb. If they think I'm going to use a certain B word because they're monitoring me to see if I if I make that B word. Did you know that they have made blank threats towards me already? I'm going to provide that to the FBI, you do know that. I have screenshot of proof. They're literally in the Discord waiting for me to say a certain word so they can literally report me and put me in... in, in prison for that they're waiting for me to say to say it so they can make a call they've already made a threat towards me because they they made a threat towards a lot of people and even towards my mom those threats were made so literally you made boom threats towards towards my family and i literally have proof now to call the fbi so thank you for letting me know Oh, I can't say the word because if I say the word, they're going to they're going to report me to the FBI for that. So, yeah, someone sent me a screenshot that they're waiting. They're monitoring me to say a certain word so they could put me in prison. But they've already made that. They've already said that. So literally, I could report them to my federal my my FBI, my local FBI already because they've already made a threat towards me, including a boom. That's what they've made. They made a threat towards me. But yeah. Because you know what they're trying to do now? Yeah, that's what it is. You know what they're trying to do now? They're legit trying to put me in prison because I won't get off social media. So because I won't get off social media, they're going to try to find well, what what they're saying is because I, I because I'm on social media, they're trying to find other means to forcibly get me off social media, which means putting me in prison so I so I have no choice but to be off social media because I'm in prison, 
which I didn't even do anything to be put in prison, but literally they have done a lot. And especially because they made those types of threats towards me, I could literally report that to my, uh, my, uh, public local FBI, like the local federal bureau investigation. I could make a report towards that. And literally, actually, if they made a report towards their FBI for saying that I said that word and I threatened them, the FBI won't do anything anyways because I told them that before. But I don't remember if I told them that. I know I told them something. And what happened was is that um, I told them something. And I don't remember because I called the FBI. Uh, on my neighbor and I told them and they said it has to be a federal offense so yeah I am going to report it because we do have a lot of screenshots where they've said that and I'm pretty sure, sure other people could provide screenshots from my mom's station head so I don't know what their issue is about trying to put me in prison that's literally extreme I don't I didn't do anything to the discord like to go to that extent to go to that extent to literally try to put me in prison is crazy. <laughs> it's not that serious. Like, do you think social media is that serious that you try to put someone in prison? Do you guys think it's that serious? Because I'm pretty sure you guys don't think it's that serious. Like, how is it ever that serious to escalate it to that point? And they're not joking either. Because that's their only logical option to remove me from social media is by hoping that maybe I slip up so they could send me to prison, which even if I said even if I said the word, it's not a threat towards you. And even so, the, the FBI can't do anything unless someone actually shows up to your house. And you know, if I was really like and I'm pretty sure they would be really crazy enough to pay someone. They would be really crazy enough to pay someone to show up to their house and claim it was me. Like, if I was that type of person with the money that I had made online, I could have paid someone to show up to my to to my house and, and, and made it seem like, oh, the, like, you know, I could have paid someone to pretend to be from the Discord, right? If I was really that and put someone away for no reason, like... <laughs> I would never do that, but, you know, say, see, they follow through on their threat, their boom threat of, you know, saying that they're going to, you know, my place. But again, I don't want to go away, lose my freedom just for that, because if you, um, what is it called? Fraud? You commit fraud. I mean... Thank you for the gift points. That's why they're trying to... Because someone sent me a screenshot from the Discord where they said they were waiting. Because apparently they don't believe people are nice enough to send me screenshots. But are they dumb? No, it won't. Ignoring them won't work. You, you, have, you, you have to understand... Ignoring them is not going to stop them from being mad that I am on social media. Let me tell you something. Ignoring them doesn't work because they don't want me on social media. They want me to get a job so I can get fired. They don't want me to have any life. They claim that they want me to get a 9 to 5 job and I'm sick and tired. And it's not you. I'm sick and tired of people. And this is not pertaining to you. I'm not... But other people that are like, well, then why don't you just go get a job so they can just stop? They won't stop because then they would literally go to my job and get me fired. Like, I have a job. I'm not even going to say this isn't a job. They just don't want me to have any type of life. Literally, even Reddit realized that. People that were in the Discord that left the Discord realized the only thing they want is to make my life extremely difficult. That's the only thing they realized. They were like, the, all these people care about is making her life extremely difficult. And that's exactly what their end goal is. They don't want me to get a 9 to 5.
they're going to do is they're going to turn around and then in turn say, haha, she got fired for hygiene or whatever because they got me fired for my job. And then they would celebrate that. And then every time something happens, they celebrate making my life difficult. But if I was to turn around and make their life just as difficult as they made mine, I would be canceled. I would be very much in trouble because I have 300K making someone's life difficult. It is hard with my following to, you know, I have to, to, to bite my tongue sometimes and, and not go to the extremes because I'm tired of the police not helping me. The police hasn't helped me any. But if I was to turn around and do this to them, everyone would have an issue with me because I have 300k. But if I wanted to pay someone to go, to go harm someone in the worst way possible, which I never would, I, I would never do that. But if I was to say like, you know, let me, let me send somebody to, you know, like if I, if I literally, it's not, hold on, this stupid screen thing does not work. Screen protector thing is like, I have to press really hard. No wonder why they got rid of these screen protectors. They don't work worth crap because when you touch your screen, it doesn't really work. But if I was to, if I was to, if you're saying I'm talking about self-defense, that's not unaliving. You need to know self-defense and stop acting like people cannot use self-defense. If someone shows up to somebody's place unannounced after they were made threats towards, I have every right to use self-defense. And you cannot tell me otherwise. And you need to stop saying that so you can make excuses for what you do in that discord. Because you've literally threatened to dox a minor. And you literally said, what would, ha what, what would happen if we dox you then? And I literally showed people that screenshot. So let's not go there. You literally think that it is totally acceptable to dox a minor and say, well, what would happen? What, well, what would happen if we doxed you then? The police will get involved and that minor should definitely tell their parents. I'm sorry, but you, but that minor needs to stop walking around being high and mighty and not high and mighty in a sense of like, they think they're untouchable because you, you shouldn't try to take on people and be stubborn. You need to report that to your parents and you need to say something to get that discord in a lot of trouble because the more you, you do that to them, it's antagonizing them and they're going to take that as antagonizing and they're going to do it because you told them because you said, well, go ahead. Like you, 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 you got to be absolutely careful. You have to understand something. I didn't say I was going to shoot someone for just coming to my door. That is not the issue. But last night was a whole other different story. Because clearly I had my phone. My phone. The thing. The speaker was on. I had it on speaker. So she could clearly hear the police. And she kept going. And she heard me ex describing her to the police. You cannot tell me that. I literally tried to de-escalate the situation. She still continued. That was the thing. She knew I was on with the police and she still tried to come in. Then she kept banging on the window and she kept banging on the door. Again, I'm not just going to shoot anyone who comes to the door. If they refuse to leave and I say leave or else there's going to be problems and they don't leave then that's their fair warning. I'm not just going to start blasting people because that's not right. You can't just start blasting people. I do know that. But again, you have to use logical sense and stop thinking that that's what's going to happen. These people have to stop sending innocent people to someone's door. And, and, and I'm not the one, right? And I'm not the one that's going to sit here and explain that to someone because if I'm not cool, calm, and collected like someone else isn't, because you have to remember, not everyone's going to react the same way because some people have PTSD. We can't control what happens to them. 
So if, so if you send someone to somebody's door and they're an innocent person and that person starts blasting away, we cannot get mad at them because legit, if they had PTSD and, and trauma and whatever the case may be, that's their, that, that's their choice, sadly, if they reacted that way. That's why, you know, people, I, and I don't agree with it because a lot of people say, well, you got to be careful whose door you show up to because remember the little black boy that showed up to the wrong house and that guy, which I'm not condoning, he should have never done that. But then again, there's people like that and you do have to be careful and stop playing with people's lives. Don't do that because if someone who is not me just starts you know, someone's going to lose their life, an innocent person. And again, I do acknowledge that I can give them a fair warning and be like, if you don't leave, that's your last warning. It's going to get serious. That's all I got to say is like, um, I didn't order anything. Please leave. You know, whatever the case may be. And I'm not going to lash out at a DoorDash driver who's literally doing their job. But DoorDash needs to have better better rules to things than what they have right because there's no reason why people should be using doordash to harass someone and when i call them to tell them that i didn't order doordash right and when i call them to tell them that i didn't order doordash they they literally say like oh well there's nothing we can do because uh if, if someone paid we we have to deliver it but if it's not me that paid for the delivery, or if it's not me that ordered DoorDash, then why is it that I that I that I shouldn't be able to have? There should be some identification thing, right? I think DoorDash needs to start implementing that it, that you show some sort of proof that you live at residence, that you live at the residence, and if you can't show any proof that you live at the the um. The residence or wherever it's at wherever you're having doordash delivered to then you can't have it delivered and i don't know if it was a doordash because my brother came in so i didn't last night i didn't check outside because you know the person tried to come in but doordash needs to hold themselves accountable because it's not right that i call and say and then they tell me well there's nothing we could do because we the the dasher has to deliver no, they don't have to deliver. This stuff is going to the trash. And and the door dasher is going to lose their job. There's no reason why someone should be sending me a self-harm kit, trigger warning, and telling me to use a rope. Sending me a rope, a razor, a cup, and some bleach. Like, what the heck? What is wrong with people? And then proceeding to tell me that there's nothing I can do about it. Because the old, cause what I'm really about to do it, is literally get in contact with my local news, you know. But, but DoorDash can implement stuff like that, right? Let me tell you something. DoorDash can have it to where people can DoorDash to their work. All you have to do is say, I'm at work. You can mark that you're at work and have have a DoorDash to your work. DoorDash can do that as well, right? There's nothing that stops. There is nothing that stops DoorDash from doing what they need to do. If you can't prove, like I when, when I talk about residency, residency means where you live. I don't mean residency like you can't prove that your residency is your work. That's not a residency. You have to separate your work from residency. They can have where they can implement people can door dash to their work. It's just for people that live in apartments and people that live in places. Literally Domino's, which I don't know why the pizza man still shows up. I'm going to have to get that set up. Like I had literally Domino's cancel orders until I, if I directly order from Domino's they delivered to me but Domino's literally implemented where they deleted any order that I didn't order when they order Domino's it's immediately canceled immediately 
they don't send anyone because I said you need to talk to your manager about this because we don't order pizza. Domino's immediately stops that. Why can't DoorDash do the same? Because again, this is the issue. I, I do get it, right? This is the thing. I do get... Ooh, I almost sent that to someone, but I don't think they would have mind. I legit do get that people door dash to their work. Sorry, I keep repeating that. But the thing is, is like people door dashing to their work, literally, like they, they can make it accessible for those people. It's just because people are going to use door dash to literally harass people. And I'm... And I know people have not had it happen to them like they've had it happen to me. If more content creators started having this happen, like if it was like a reoccurrence like swatting, I'm pretty sure that DoorDash would start listening. And as far as you saying the news don't care, they would. If I tell them I'm getting harassed through DoorDash, if I told them my what happened to me online, they will take this story. And I'm pretty sure if I told... I'm pretty sure if I told um, the news, right? I'm pretty sure if I told the news, they would bring attention to this because DoorDash needs to implement something. If they can't, then like. But the thing about it is, is that if DoorDash does not want to implement safer, any safer things, then it might it might have to go to pursuing DoorDash and suing them. And literally forcing them to make these laws and changes because if they ain't going to do anything about it and, and act like, oh, well, we don't care. They should care. I'm a customer. First of all, if I don't, if I tell you I didn't order to your, to your, to wherever, I, I'm going to say that because you're literally allowing these people to rob you blindly as well. These people don't just order DoorDash. Do you know what they do? They call DoorDash and they request a refund immediately after. After the stuff gets sent to my door, they request a refund and they literally put they never received the item. That Dasher is going to lose their job because someone wants to play games. That's not okay. Well, if I if I call a lawyer and talk to them about it, I could. But I mean, like like Discord could believe I'm not gonna sue DoorDash, but I'm not suing them. So they have no worries about whether or not I'm gonna sue them because technically the person that I'm suing for all of this like accusations of being a predator is the person that literally made the false accusations on Aunt Karen's life. That's the person I'm suing. They're not even getting sued at all. They might get sued for emotional damage and distress, right? I could sue for that, but they're not the main cause of it. They're just continuing. They make multiple accounts. They have multiple accounts, so no, they, they can't because they have multiple accounts. And I'm pretty sure because they did it a lot because I found out because when I called DoorDash, I literally found out they literally even admitted on one of the d discords before their old discord before it got taken down which I had a screenshot on my Android before it was stolen they literally admitted to um no I am suing I am suing that person I am suing that person that person is not active actually they just left me on scene and I said if they don't if they don't do anything about it, I'm pursuing them in court. Because literally I have to clear my name. This is my job that's being affected because they wanted to spread the rumor of me being a predator. That is something that I'm really taking serious because when I do get the money to get a lawyer, which when we get our house and stuff, we we are gonna work on getting a lawyer and I am going to sue that person. Like, I'm not just saying this just to say this. I have to clear my name in order for me to continue my business. Now, the other stuff, I can't control them sharing that other stuff, you know, but I'm just going to work on clearing my name of that. And once that is cleared, I can continue, right? And I can continue to, to keep 
going like uh, for myself i'm just gonna make my own way i'm just gonna make my own stable living i'm just gonna create my own successful business i'm not going to rely on any brand deals or anything like that because these brands ain't shit and i'm gonna say it because the way they treat poc creators is crazy i'm not going to have to worry about working with a brand one day being cut the next day because they look for every reason whatsoever to cut POC creators off whenever they feel like it, but then they allow these white white tea bigots and I'm gonna say it on their brands and they don't give a F if they do anything. But when it comes to a POC creator, oh there's issues. But they won't cut the the, the white tea racist person. Oh they'll let them continue. You know? Oh, don't, don't call me. I don't like Fanita. I'm sorry. I don't like Fanita. That's one person I don't like, and I'm sorry. I don't care if she's changed. She's still anti-black. She literally tokenized herself. And then thinks that people are supposed to forgive her. I do not like her. How do you go on a trip for Tarte? And I say, oh, you guys are mad at me for this talk. And, and I couldn't really say what I wanted to say because I'm overweight. I say whatever the hell I want to say and I'm overweight. You don't let people stop you from doing something. You don't have to be skinny to tell these people to fuck off. You don't. I'll say whatever I want. I don't care if people body shame me. I don't care what people tell me. If someone's wrong, they're wrong. And I'm going to tell them they're wrong. And if I say I don't like you, I'm going to say I don't like you. Big or not, I don't have to lose weight to tell people my mind. If no one wants to listen to me because I'm fat, then so be it. <laughs> like, like this person, this per, like, like, I'm serious. To me, that should have not been an excuse. Okay. I get it that people are now listening to you now that you're skinny, but you as a bigger person, you know, plus size person, has every right to tell someone to F off. You shouldn't let people dictate you having a voice, whether you're plus size or whether you're skinny. That's an issue to be like, well, now I can say whatever I want because I'm skinny and y'all ain't gonna, they're still gonna come at you no matter what. That's not going to stop people. You literally went. Excuse me. You literally went on that tart trip. And you tokenized yourself. Tokenized yourself. And you. Basically. You went on this trip tokenizing yourself. And talked down on a black woman, another black woman, and made fun of her because she literally... Guys, you keep asking when I'm going to get a house and I'm not saying anything on social media. And I'm not trying to be mean because people don't need to know that's none of anyone's business. Not you, but other people want to be in my business all the time and then they're going to... You know, and I don't want them in my business because then they always say, you, you tell everyone your business. That's why. You know, I know people have been asking, but yeah, we're not going to talk about it on live. Because obviously getting a house is not quick. You do have to understand it takes a while. It takes, it takes a while to get into a house. And right now, the housing market, the housing market is not, um, it's not like, good to be buying houses now in this housing market just saying but my nose is like super itchy i don't know why hey look i need mighty mend it <laughs> it works on clothes that's not like billy may's guy that would be good for like pants if they're too long you can just fold them up and then use mighty mend it yeah, I'm getting a house. What do you mean I'm not getting a house? I have to get a house, guys. You have to understand something. There was a lady. This was on the shade room, actually. Her landlord gave her a 60-day notice to move out 
because she wants to move her family members in. And this person said, am I in the wrong for refusing to move? People are saying 60 days is not enough to move, right? They were like, 60 days is not enough. And so, and some people like are saying, because I guess she lives in California. 60 days is not enough to find a place in California. Yeah, but I don't have money right now to be buying a house. That's the thing. You have to understand something like I don't have the money to buy a house now, but I'm working on it now. So when the market, so when the time comes and it's right to buy a house, I'm going to buy a house. Like, like, yeah, not right away because obviously it takes a lot to buy a house. And plus you have to have mortgage. You have to have the money. There's a lot that goes into it. 60 is more than enough depending on where you live. But if it's California, yeah, that's not enough time. But what I was going to say is that I don't want to have to go through something like that. Where the landlord's like, you need to get out of my house. Because of course it's their house. If they have a right to tell you to move and say you have 60 days to get out because I'm trying to move my family members in. You, you cannot just be entitled to be like, well, I'm not moving. It is literally tenant rights, or I forget what it was. Uh, she's established living. There was a lady that um, put her house on Airbnb. And she was going away for going away on vacation. And she wanted someone to watch her house, so she listed it on Airbnb. This lady said, I'll, I'll, um, I'll rent the Airbnb. And, you know, she rented it. And she ended up living there. When the lady came back, she refused to leave. And she made herself at home, going into her refrigerator, helping herself to stuff. This lady said, you need to leave. You need to get out of my house. And she said, no. And... She, she called the police and I already know because the police has said this before in a situation involving me. They said because she established living, she would have to take it to court and, 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 fight, and fight in civil court. Literally. There is, there is literally squatters. If someone squats in a house long enough, the person who owns the house would end up having to take them to court because police won't care. Yeah, well, I'm not going to say how I'm getting a house because, you know, people think that I don't save or I'm not doing anything. So, yeah, I'm not going to say much, but because obviously you have to have money to buy a house. I do know that mortgage, um, you know, anyways, you have to have the mortgage, you have to have property taxes, you have to have a case something breaks, you have to be able to fix it, but squatters... Squatters are literally have rights if that makes sense because there's there was a story about squatters too where they there was one guy that claimed it's his house and he's not leaving and they're trying to get him to leave their house and he won't leave. No, I'm not getting a loan. I'm not paying that back. Do you know how much it would be if I got a loan and had to pay that back? I couldn't pay that back. That's why I'm not getting a loan. Oh, no, 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 no. No, because then I would have to pay it back. No, you have to... No, more, I don't know if a mortgage is a loan. I know that with a house, you have to pay a mortgage. I don't know if that's a loan or not. If it's a loan, I'm not getting a loan. But with a house, you have to pay a mortgage. Because I know, because someone said they're behind on their mortgage. Unless you don't have to pay a mortgage, then that's good. But I know you do have to pay monthly. There's a lot that goes into a house. Though. It's a payment on a home loan. Oh, okay, well then. <laughs> I won't have a mortgage then. A mortgage is a very long-term loan. Oh, thank God. Then I won't have to pay that. 
but I do know I might have to pay property taxes. That is something I'm going to have to pay. Because I know there's monthly. There's something you have to pay monthly. Besides your lights and all of that. You know, there's, there's a lot that goes into buying a home and being able to afford a home. I do know that. But anyways, these squatters, right? My nose is just like super itchy. Whoa. These squatters squatted in this house and they tried to remove them and the police said there's nothing they can do. They would have to call they would have to call um a mortgage is a monthly, but I guess you could rent. No, I'm gonna well I don't need a loan to buy a house. If you're just straight buying a house, you don't need a loan. So I wouldn't have a mortgage and also I'm I don't wanna rent, you know? I don't want to rent because if I rent, then that's going to be a problem. Because I don't want to have to. You would need a ton of cash. Yes, I know that. I know. I know how much a house is, guys. A house is not $500 or $5,000 when my grandpa bought my grandma a house. Because the house that my grandma lived in, she owned it. She owned her own house. She was the only one that owned her own house on the street. And when he bought it, he bought, um, he bought it for $5,000. So yeah, do I have 300 K? Well, I'm not going, I'm not going to tell people. So here's the thing. I'm not going to tell people I'm getting a house. I know it's a large amount of money like that. I'm not going to tell people how I'm getting that, but the thing is, is that I'm not getting a loan, but I'm going to do it and plus have money for a lawyer. I know that I just said that. I just said that I know that a house was is not $5,000 like when it was when my grandpa bought a house. I know that I've been looking at the houses. I literally have been looking at houses. <laughs> like, I, 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 I know that. <laughs> Like, hello. I know. <laughs> like, but when my grandpa bought my grandma house, which was in the 60s, it was $5,000. Now imagine that. Well, I was looking at houses, probably Zillow, but I think there's another place that I looked at. Save all this money while well, it's not it's it's technically not not like saving money because again you have to have some successful business or something where you're having money come in right and even with the amount of money I make like that's gonna take a long time to get to 300k I have to be doing things on social media while I have my platform to make money there's no reason why I, I should have 300,000 and not be making thousands, right? There's no reason. I should be getting a lot of money for the amount of people that I have on my page. And the 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 views, the demographics, the content, whatever it is. I'm trying to think. Like the, the, the views alone. Like there's no reason why I shouldn't be making that amount of money. Right? Oh, someone's mad. Actually, I know you're saying it's good to have goals, but I cannot physically tell anyone how I'm getting money because it's none of anyone's business. Again, like I, it, my money does not pertain to the goals. Like I get it. I could, I could think, oh, I'm gonna have a successful business, and I could wait however long. But I cannot mention on lives because there are people watching my lives. Who want to be in my business again people might be a little shocked you know because yeah where did you get 300k and it's not a loan either but I'm not going to go in in depth or 
or in detail about how I'm getting a house. Because that's mine and my family's business to do that. Not anybody else's because we all have to come together to work towards getting a house. Not just me. Not just my mom. Everybody. And my, my family's not going to like if I tell people exactly how we get, we're going to get a house. Like, because then they're going to be like, why'd you tell people it was none of their business? And again, I'm not going to do that. Just as I tell my mom to not, to not say personal stuff, she has to respect me enough to, or trust me enough to not tell people that. Like, I get it. I know people are confused, but right now, personally, I can't, like, give detail by detail about how I'm going to get a house. Oh, this... This money I'm getting a loan or whatever because I'm not getting a loan anyways either if I get a loan that's gonna ruin my credit I already don't have no credit and I'm trying to build my credit that's one thing I need to be building my credit so you know doing things like paying a monthly phone bill which is what what I do every month that I'm gonna try to use my monthly phone bill or whatever it is that I do monthly payments on to literally help build up my credit. That's one thing because I think with a house you have to have at least some sort of credit. Right? But again, I want my family to be able to trust that I'm not going to tell anyone detail by detail by detail. Having a, a, a successful business is great, but you know, how long is that going to take and how long do we have to wait? Like, I do understand that, but the thing is, is like, I also have to, someone literally told me before they turned against me, I'm not mentioning who, someone told me what I can do is get a, a credit card, I forget, some type of card through a, um, one of those, it's not a bank, it's like one of those smaller banks, you know, I forget what they're called, a credit union, I believe it is. Anyways, they said you get a card and what you do is any little payment, right? Whether it be a phone bill or you get something like so you buy a little something from like McDonald's is boycotted. So let's say you buy something from Domino's and then you pay back the card, right? So you make payments with a card that you get approved for. And when you get approved for, yeah, it's like, I think they said a secured credit card. You get approved for a card and then you start making payments. And so what you do is you pay, you, you, you pay with the card. So like if I paid, so if I paid with my card, right? my phone bill then I would pay with the phone bill money that I was gonna pay and I'll pay off the card right so I don't make large payments you don't make large payments because if you make large payments and you can't pay that back you're gonna ruin your credit you make small payments or small little purchases in order to build up your credit doing that it's gonna take six months because obviously you can't build up your credit right away credit takes time and because you're building up to good credit it's gonna take time which is like six months so that's gonna be like you have to be patient but you basically get approved for a card you um when you get pr approved for a card you do slow little you know you do slow just very slow, very little payments. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I, you know, I know you know about like how credit works, but that's what someone told me. So that's why, like that's, that's why I know what to do. So with my phone bill, that could help build up my credit because it's a monthly payment. Any monthly payment that I'm making helps like you know build my credit but anyways back to this uh what were we talking about the squatters so anyways with the squatters they called the police and the police said because they've established residency 
which if they've been there long enough, they would have to go to court and make it civil. They're like, you're going to have to go to civil court. You're going to have to go to a civil court. Why is it going here? Just close. Okay, Jesus. Anyways, that's that's literally the law is is for squatters. So if you have a squatter at your house, it is very hard to get rid of squatters because squatters legit. And this is the thing. Squatters will legit squat and then they will refuse to move and Therefore the squatters a lot of the time. That's what they do So if you're a squatter you don't have to like move Because then they're gonna tell you like oh they've established residency You're just going to have to um Let me play fall guys You're just going to have to, um, take it to court and then they're going to go to court and have to fight to remove them from their house. Cause they had an electrical outlet outside. And there was one story where squatters were, were taken from this person's house. They had it connected to the outlet on the outside. And they were literally had a hose hooked up to their holes. And they were getting water from them and electricity. And the lady had reported it. And the police said there was nothing they could do. Because... If they, if they wanted, and the house wasn't even, it was an abandoned house. It wasn't really abandoned, but it was their house. And they said, they're taking electricity from my house and water. And they said, well, there's nothing we could do. If you don't want them to use the the electricity or the water, just, just shut it off. Like, stop paying it. Like, and she's like, why well, you, why well, need my electricity and water? Like, why are you telling me to, you know? Oh, I know why. I'm going to have to leave and then come back real quick. Because I have to connect it to my data. Or else it's Leave my life, ditch me, how dare you. I saw that. <laughs> I read your comment, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's okay if you want to leave my life and go to sleep, I really don't care. Should we play these carnival games? Carnival, my brother got this game. I'll play this game for a live one day. 
Let me go back to Fall Guys. Because it, it wouldn't open. We are living single. Yes, we're living the single life. I don't know how people could act like, you know, when they have to do acting scenes where they're laying in the bed, I would fall asleep and be like, <laughs> oh, there's this cute um skin that I really wanted, but I can't afford it. Can someone help me? I'm just kidding. It's a cat skin. Yeah, you should go to sleep. It's a cute cat skin. Why did it go there automatically? I'm trying to show you the skin if it's still there. Oh look, it's Master Chief. I don't know if it's still- Oh, are those pirate packs? I thought those were like little monkeys. I was about to say, oh. But anyways. It was like a cat skin, but I guess they changed it. I have the Mankind one on my on the PlayStation 4. I saw and I had to get it because it was Mankind. And if you know anything about me, I love Mankind and I actually met Mankind. So <laughs> I was like, I need to get this skin because I'm a huge Mick Foley fan. And I think that's when they had the Undertaker too, when they had the Undertaker skin. And I was like, oh no, you have to make me choose. But I was like, you know, I gotta go with Mankind. Because I, you know, <gasps> wait, oh, that's Oreo. Or Orco. I thought that was, um, you know, the Pokemon, Psychonic or whatever. You know which one I'm talking about. That's what it looked like, that Pokemon. That's the cat filter or the cat skin. That's the one I was talking about. <gasps> Look at the cat skin. See what I'm talking about? Like, I legit want that. Like, how do you, how could you not want that? <laughs> And I saw someone, it's thundering where you live. I saw someone had the Iron Giant. And I was like, no, I want the Iron Giant. And look, they have Rosie the Riveter. But it's Race Day Rosie. And they have the Pac-Man ones. I was going to say, is that a little mustard bottle? And then this is the one that I wanted, the Among Us ones. They had a little pickle, I would die. <laughs> I would. A traffic cone. I kind of like that drink too. Soda pop, banana tropic pack. But yeah, anyways. I am lonely too. <laughs> Trust me, I know the feeling. Even though I, I live with my family, I feel lonely all the time. I don't know exactly how, if I mean, if you have nobody living with you, then that's really lonely.
<sighs> they were using the word musty back in the day because living single is on. And Queen Latifah's character said, I don't think I want his musty ass up in here. I was like, oh, they were using musty back then. Yeah. Wait, what? Sorry, y'all. I was freaking out over the Buzz Lightyear and my phone's about to die. And I can't charge it because I'm in the middle of a match. I'll try to charge it as fast as I can or put it on the charger, I mean, because it dies fast. So it's going to get to 10% like that and then 1% or and then 0% and die on you guys, so... I need to stand right in the middle, so that way if I get knocked... Like, leave me alone. Someone keeps trying to push me off, because they know it's me. Oh, I got eliminated. Good. Did you- do you not see that? Really, TikTok? <laughs> you fat. And they called me a eight. They literally tried to call me an orangutan. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, that's insane. That was literally... Whoa, where did that come from? Okay, let me plug you guys in because you're about to die. Literally. This game is fun. I'm not gonna lie. No. Uh, <laughs> New. That's crazy. Let it just like play through. Okay. Okay, let's play. Yeah, just I just blocked them. Okay, let's start another. Let's go to another match. I just blocked them. I'm really not going to care. Yeah. They do it because they're trying to affect 
people and also because it's a slight microaggression slightly people do things because they want to piss black people off and that's why they say the ignorant stuff they say because they want to make someone who is black mad and microaggressions are doing and saying little things to make a black person get mad so they can say oh you're aggressive why are you aggressive because they do they do microaggressions on my live stream sometimes they'll say oh uh where did you get your wig from like they clearly can tell my hair is not a wig but they they say that you know adults do act like that sadly <laughs> that's the sad thing about it but they do little things like, oh, where'd you get your wig from? Like little microaggressions. And and black people know what the microaggressions are. And they'll literally do that on my live and be like, you know. You know, like the little microaggressions. I was trying to figure out how to jump. There we go, it wasn't jumping. That was the longest, like, Oh no. Oh no. I don't even think I'm going to make it. Nope. <laughs> no, I don't know. It sounded like the refrigerator was settling. Like, you know how it makes that like, little knock sound when it's like settling or the refrigerator makes a little knock sound? Because I don't hear anyone at the door, so I don't know. They would have knocked again. So I don't think it was anyone. And there goes the refrigerator making noise again. <laughs> Sorry guys, but... Yeah, us, us black people know the microaggressions and sometimes, I heard a knock, no, that's the like refrigerator, it's like, I heard a knock, but no. Anyways, what I was going to say is, is that, you know, we just, we just learned that, okay, so with microaggressions, We've literally learned not to let it affect us because we realize people that are not black do things to get people's reactions out of it. And not giving them a reaction is the best reaction. You know, but... <laughs> Sorry, I got... I don't know if it looked like... I, I started looking like I was getting sad. Thought of something and then I got a little sad. But it's okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. Just thought of something. That's all. You know when you... You know when you think of somebody and you are you just hope they're okay? That, that type of thing. <laughs> that, that, you know... No.
No. Oh, I'm going to keep getting hit. Come on, why is it always me? Why can I never make it? Go, 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 go. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna run right through that. I'm like the last one left. I didn't make it. <gasps> Why am I doing so horribly? I'm not even making it. That's sad. I'm doing horrible. I have to wait till the match starts for me to exit. Oh, Lord. Okay, we're not even going to watch this because we're going to go into another match. I'm, I do really well when I'm not on live. Thank you for the heart puff, but then when, when I'm off live, or when I'm on live, I do horrible. <laughs> she almost choked on her food because uh, her character is pretending to date him. Have we not even halfway to 100k? I don't know. Like, I told people spam to 100k and they haven't even, like, it's too late for that now because I'm going to get off. It's like 148. I think I only have enough for like one or two matches. gonna turn off sub only if y'all <laughs> yeah if they get there on time before time is up oh crud <gasps> don't push me to the edge get away stop chasing me that person in that hat really wants me for some reason. Aww. I mean, you guys could try to get 200k. If, if everyone spams fast enough, like right there, 776, I'm pretty sure y'all could like get their BT Awards 2024. There's a new show that's on that, um, well, 
Well, I don't know. It's technically a new show, but I haven't started it from the beginning. And now I forgot. Well, what was it? Chai? Is it called? Ch it's called Chai something, I believe. You guys probably know what show I'm talking about. Really interesting show. But I haven't been... And then there's another show that's called The Brock Hamptons. And I haven't been watching that because I don't know if it's really good. If anyone's been watching The Brock Hamptons, can you tell me if it's good? Because there's one show, I don't know if people watch that so, so show. It's Sisters. Tyler Perry's Sisters. I don't know. It's called Chai. It's a black, it's a show, it's a... You, uh, you probably know. I think it might be the Chicago show. But it's called Chai Something. And basically the show's about like violence kind of. Yes. Whew. Whew. Finally I'm with the crowd. Why? <laughs> Every time. Someone tried to hold me back. I think it's on BET. But anyways, I, I'm watching it from where it's at and it looks pretty good. There was a way to stream it from the beginning or to watch it from the beginning. <laughs> block immediate block Okay, let's go. Let me go! Get away from me! They found out it's me. I'm gonna die just so you can leave me alone. And I'm gonna go the other way too. No! I keep forgetting not to run into that. Move! Why are you like... You waited until I freaking was there and then you're gonna stop me? Like, no, go. Yep, they did it on purpose. One more game, and then I'm gonna get off and go get some sleep. Cause it's about time I get some sleep, so I mean, this is super.
I was trying to read that because I was like, wait, what? It says this font is ugly. That is an ugly font. I'm sorry, but that's an ugly font. Like, I couldn't even read it. That kind of looks like something that would, that like Dr. Seuss would use. <laughs> that font looks, that's what it looks like. Something Dr. Seuss would use. Because he has like those curly trees. You know what I'm talking about. But anyways. I It took me a while because I was like. And I was like oh. I was like it is ugly. You can't even read anything. Like I even struggled to read that. I was like front. Oh and then I was like oh font. Because the E's backwards. That is so funny. Oh no, I keep getting knocked, I'm gonna have to go, why are you, are you serious, like get away from me. <laughs> Like, why are you hanging on to me? And it's making me mad, too. Goodbye. They do that on purpose because they see my username. And I believe someone just randomly playing. I'm going to play another round because that was messed up. I'm going to play another round because that was messed up. Bye. I'm gonna have to get out the web guys, the police got involved. That's crazy. I guess they sent someone to the door and my brother stopped the person and I guess the person wanted to have some attitude. Like that's crazy. Like, do these people not, do these people not stop? I can't even go live without people sending some people to my door. And this is crazy. Like, they keep sending people. 
Like, that's crazy. I could hear it because I hear outside. Alright, well, I hear it. really bad. I, I'm not even jumping, dang it. Get away from me, dude. Like, it's always a guy that, that's wearing construction. I'm like telling my brother to watch the fuck out is crazy. Like, you're the one who came because someone told you to come like an idiot. And yet, I don't understand why these people must put their lives in danger. Literally, you don't know who you're talking to, but you're going to come to the internet for some random person tells you to. Like, are these people that dumb? It makes me just see how, how dumb humanity is. Do you know how stupid that is to literally just come to someone's place that you don't know randomly? What the fuck? Ha, I qualified. But still, they who comes to someone's house? Do you want to know what they was doing when we lived at our old apartment? They were telling people that looked homeless on dating apps to come to my house in exchange for sex. And I'm going to say the word. They were, they were telling men that I was going to give them a place to stay for sex. Who does that? And you just show up to someone's house on the the like the first time talking to them to to literally think that you're what like hello I, I i got eliminated i'm i'm not playing anymore anyways guys have a good day or night where you guys are we'll see you guys later i'll go get some sleep let me open up the chat but yeah they did and i know they was doing that because i literally they made um they made a profile to to for dating on Facebook and at our old place they were literally sending men telling them that I was gonna give them a place to stay for sex. That's crazy. Like and and that's why I talk about people coming when they barely know someone. You barely know the person but you're coming. You're literally coming to to someone you don't know. But yeah. Anyways, have a good day now where you guys are. I will see you guys later. I gotta get off the live. I'm gonna open up the chat, but have a good day now where you guys are. I will see you guys later. Good night guys. Bye bye bye. Bye bye bye. That's why that one guy tried to come in because they told him that the person was waiting and to come in because the door was open. But yeah, bye bye. Yeah, he is fighting. Didn't you hear that? Bye bye. Because of the person they sent to the door. But I, I'm going to get off and go. Bye bye.